Hello everybody and welcome to Provis Gaming and RuneScape 3. I took a week hiatus and it is time to get back into the swing of things with more questing. And to help me along, I have my little buddy Doug. How you doing there, Doug? I'm doing okay, dear Bosh man. Oh, that's good to hear. Well, I kinda lied, I'm not actually doing that well at all. No? Why not? Well, for the last couple of hours, I just watched you murder all my kinship buddies in Valador. <laughs> oh, Doug, you kidder, you... No, I'm really not joking. You murdered like 300 of my friends, and then you were laughing about it. <laughs> oh, Doug, you should shut up! No, and uh, no. Anyway, that all being said, the uh, the Invasion of Falador event actually is going to end as of today, so I did grind a lot out. That's actually one of the re main reasons I took a week hiatus off of the game. I only have about time to play for about an hour or so, an hour or two a day. And uh, I really wanted to get some more stats. I wanted to get my strength up there to 85, defense, get some more magic levels, and so on. I now officially do have all of the levels required to do every single quest in the game, which is kind of exciting. So I hope that uh, you'll forgive my hiatus, because uh, I think it was well worth it. Hey, Doug, you can't come down here. Aw, oh, man, you're going to send me away? Yes, I'm going to send you away. Go and grieve your brothers. Okay. What are we going to be doing today? Well, if you can't tell already... I am in the Museum of Varrock. Why they have such an elaborate basement for only a few exhibits, I don't know. They have quite the budget, it turns out. But still, I think that we need to find out a little bit more information about uh, the Stone of Jass. Since we have been spending so much time dealing with the Stone of Jass in the last several videos, I think we need to find out a bit more about its history and uh, what, what kind of other stuff was going on along around it. So, in order to do that, I need to consult with the only teacher I know, the only history teacher in the game. Fair warning, though, he's a little bit hard to look at. You might be surprised. Enter the door. Hey, it's Mr. Mordrot, the Red Dragon. Yeah, seriously, I'm, I feel like I'm in a Harry Potter thing, you know? I'm gonna go talk, my history professor is a dragon. I mean, it's kind of like that, but Mr. Mordrot used to be a random event uh, as you played the game, back when RuneScape had random events. You know, you're just chopping trees, and all of a sudden, an angry dryad would pop out and try to kill you. Sneaky way of dealing with bots. Well, he was one of those random events that would very unwillingly just kidnap you, make you deal with his classroom experience, and then he'd send him back off. Well, they took those away from the game, but they decided to put Mr. Mordrot in the closet underneath the stairs. Very hot Harry Potter-esque indeed. So, let's talk to him. He might be able to help us. And let's start the Grandmaster One-of-A-Kind quest. How may I be of service? One-of-A-Kind? You know, Norik Probish, you may be just the person I am looking for. Of course I am. Careful there, my friend. Humility is a valuable life skill. As you are aware... I have a deep interest in the history of Dragonkind, and have made it my mission to seek out as much information on our past as possible. During my recent investigations, I uncovered what may be the final journal of Hannibus, the Dragon Rider. Go on. I believe this journal entry could well be the secret to his current whereabouts. Could I interest you in helping me to investigate? Of course you could. That's why I'm here after all. Oh, that's an interesting looking thing. Tale of Two Casts, King's Ransom, Missing Presumed Death, The World Wakes, and a bunch of different little things over here for a Grandmaster quest. Must be able to defeat 182 enemies. Level 182, I should say. Not the quantity, just the level of difficulty. And one level 190 opponent. And must be able to survive in the wilderness. Yeah, that scares me a little bit. One of the main reasons I haven't done this quest. I hate going in the wilderness. I hate it. But for the sake of the quest and the channel, we will. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you. Mr. Mordrot hands me the last journal of Hannibus, the Dragon Rider. Not to be confused with Hannibal, the Person Eater. The can Hannibal the Cannibal. If you don't know who Hannibal is, well, we, we do some research. I don't feel like explaining it to you because it's kind of gross. Take a quick read of that and talk to me when you've finished. I have more information that will prove fascinating, I'm sure. All right, Hannibus hunted. My time in this cave has been relaxing and has been good to distance myself from the folly of the people of Gielinor, but a short-lived peace, blah, blah, blah. Anakra is hunting me. Okay. Why did it have to be her? Uh, collect trophies for Zamorak in the form of petrified foes. Death I can prepare for, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
Moved on to temporary sanctuary. I've left my dragon in his cave. He's been a loyal and good friend, and I think it's best to distance myself from him. Our goodbye was painful, but he understood. Blur, 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 blur. I believe that Shinokra was successful in her plan and was able to curse Hanabis, turning him into a statue. Why do you think that? Well, I have been researching Anakra's exploits, and there are references to such a statue as tribute for Zamorak, but she was never able to deliver it. I had thought that's the be end of it, but then I hit on my biggest discovery yet. During some completely unrelated research on the Dragonkin, I found documents that speak of Robert the Strong finding a strange, lifelike statue of an unknown species. I believe that this is none other than the statue of Hannibus. According to my research, Robert took it to his library for study. Isn't that fascinating? Not really. Well, to each their own, I suppose. The only problem is where do we go from here? Where can we find this library? Who would know anything? Bob the cat. A cat? Why would a cat know anything? That cat is the reincarnation of Robert the Strong. Really? Fascinating. Well, yes, that certainly seems like a good place to start. I will entrust this task to you, Norik Promise as my presence generally startles the locals. Gee, I can't imagine why. All right, we gotta find Bob the Cat. This is not fun, though. I really, uh, I hate having to find him. You say he's to my north? You say he's to my, he's to my southeast? There's a Sarah Doman symbol there for some reason. Hang on, let's pop upstairs and uh, see if we can find Bob the Cat. Now, he can be wandering anywhere in the world. There are a few places he tends to frequent, so you can check each of those systematically, or more likely, you use the cat speak amulet and you try to find him. For example, it says he is currently due west. Where due west? I not know. It could be anywhere over here. It's a little excessive for reasons you might understand. What the crim? Crim, do you do? Okay, looks like we got a demon on the march. That's fun. Anyway, I have to take a little while to find Bob the cat. I will just zip forward until I find him. Aha! I have found you, Bob, hiding conspicuously in a combat zone. Oh, you thought you'd lose me here, didn't ya? Alright, Bobby boo let's talk about the one of a kind. Bob, I need to find the library of Robert the Strong. Hmm, the library of who the what? Robert the Strong! You're his reincarnation, remember? I know, I'm his reincarnation, but I don't actually remember anything about his life. I'm just a cat with a human to look after. A human to look after? Oh wait, I already know about that. That's the name, like, Unferth, right? The guy, the guy, the guy up in Birthorp. Surely you remember fighting the Dragonkin. Dragonstring? That sounds like a fun thing to play with. Mm -hmm. I think I'd have remembered that. A human to look after? I uh, think you've met Unferth, my pet human. Mm -hmm. He lives in a house at the north end of Berthorp. I love that house. Mm -hmm. The first time I saw it, I felt like it was home. Naturally, I adopted the human who lived there and moved in. Well, even though I wander around the world, that house will always feel like home. Maybe I'll check out that house. Be my guest. Hmm. Unferth is very good at keeping it clean these days. I've finally got him trained. Okay, well that's just downright disturbing. But let's go to Berthorp. I summon the power of Guthics! <laughs> uh, I tell you what, it actually was extremely convenient that uh, Jagex was giving away this home teleport option for free to members just after I finished The World Awakes. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's death. Yeah, there's a Halloween event going on. I honestly haven't touched it yet. I read up on it and it looks boring as heck. Totally pointless. I don't really care about it, so... I didn't even bother. I was more interested in the invasion of Falendur. 
Hey, Unferth, don't mind me. I'm just sure I guess I should talk to you a little bit before I invade your home. That would be considered rude and could get me in trouble. I want to search your house for a hidden library. A hidden library? Ah, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never even read any ogre romance novels. I certainly don't have a secret collection of them. Uh-huh. So, can I see these ogre romance novels? What? So just you can mock me? No! Anyway, I don't have any. It's all a malicious rumor. I'm not interested in your novels. Well, um, if there was another library in my house, I'd like to know about it. I like to keep everything neat. And a misplaced library sounds like it's decidedly, um, unneat. Right, uh, is there any place that Bob the Cat seemed drawn to? Oh, uh, well, he never went upstairs much. He was always running around on the floor down here. I hope that helps with whatever it is you're doing. I'm looking for the lost library of Robert the Strong. Really? Do you think that legendary hero was into ogre romance novels? I mean, well, well uh, I suppose you can search if you like. Be careful not to make too much mess, though. I always keep my house very clean, and the dust makes me ill. That's all for now. All right, so we're looking, looking through the bookcase, perhaps. Looking for that, you actually managed to completely destroy the bookhouse. The bookcase, seriously? I managed to completely destroy the bookcase somehow. Stop it! You're getting dirt all over my books! Hmm, okay, how about we miss look at this fireplace? Oh god, what have I done? Just an ordinary fireplace with no hidden entrances. Unfortunately, you appear to have dislodged a lot of soot. Oops. What are you doing? You're getting soot everywhere. Inspect the table. Break it. Oh, God. Oh, dear. I am so sorry, Unferth. I am so sorry. It seems like I'm just... I'm just I, I seem to be just incapable of anything other than a rampant slaughter of destroying furniture. I am... Oh, man. I am so sorry. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, well, bet you'll be wanting to rip up the carpet next. Here, Vandal! Well, why not? Let's remove it. Oh, I find a hidden trap door. Let's enter the trap door. Well, this looks like something of some sort. Hmm. Hmm, fascinating. I think we need to call forth Doug if we're going to find out what's going on over here. Let's see. Summon pet. There he is! Doug, what do you think about this place? Oh man, what kind of mess you got me into now? Well, I don't know, Riley. I'm kind of guess, I'm assuming that that statue is worth looking for. You ever wanted to meet a dragon rider, Doug? I mean, no, not really. That sounds kind of dangerous. Hey, you're supposed to be a Kinshra. Of course you want to meet a dragon rider. You'd love to be a dragon rider yourself someday, wouldn't you? I mean, does that mean that I have to star in a movie called Aragon? No, God! No! Nobody ever has to hear about that movie or that book series ever again. Okay, good. This is all on the same page. We are on the same page, Doug. Oh, God, the shudders and the goosebumps. They're real. The statue is astonishingly detailed. In fact, you suspect that not a statue, but a creature that has been transformed into stone. Wunderbach, Anakra, what have you been doing around here? There's maps over here. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I discovered a new clue. Really? What the heck is this? Dragon kin place names? Ulergrax? Avrock, instead of Verok, it's Avrock. Istruthin, Herathin, Skethrin. Huh, I'm not exactly sure how any of these clues are in any way useful to me, but we found some stuff. Let's search the desk. Oh, look, there's a dragonkin symbol right there. How conspicuous. By Robert the Strong. I have found all parts of the incantation, the effective words of which are Um Nahi Listak Durura. The ritual also requires two material components, the first of which is an emerald, but the second of which eludes me. Good thing I brought an emerald along, hey. I went to a seer. After I paid his price with his riddle, I feed... Oh, okay, riddles. Hang on, gotta... Okay, put it on your thinking cap, promise. Here we go. I feed upon the sword, spade, and rake. Okay. Uh, I pierce the armor that none can break. Oh, I already figured it out. One drop and I can stop a watch's flow... But without time, I cannot grow. What am I? Rust! It's clearly rust! I mean, 
It's not that hard. A rumor of a dragon kin requires my attention. I will return this puzzle when this Sears riddle blah 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 blue. Okay. So let's search the chests, because I love searching chests. Uh, firmly locked. Okay. A bookcase. You need a better idea what you're looking for. In other words, I have not found everything in here that I need to find. Investigate rap and rack. Can we get some rust? Uh, covered in rust! Perfect! Take some rust from the weapons. I scrape it into a bottle. A bottle that I have no idea how I got it, but I do have a bottle. So that's fun. Uh, can I investigate and do the... No, wait. No, well, can I use the iron oxide? No. How does this work? Exactly. Oh, wait. This makes even less sense. All right, I just used the rust on the emerald and somehow I magically created a piece of paper. This makes no sense whatsoever. All right. Well, based on Robert the Strong's notes, you create a scroll. I create an anime rock scroll. Let's read it. Get, read, read it. Oh, God. Oh, wow. That was sudden. I'm not here listing Dulura. Boy, the ancestors. I'm free. I can smell the air. The blessed, dusty air. I was aware of the world around me, in a sense, but it was so long, so, so long, I feared I would go mad. I know I was trapped for how long I cannot say. Last I recall, it was the end of something called the Second Age. But now I'm free! You know, I'm just reminded of the old man in The Hunchback of Notre Dame by Disney. I'm free! I'm free! Woo! Dang it! Yeah, that sounds familiar. I have you to thank for this. Yes, you do. Then you have my gratitude, stranger. I don't suppose uh, you know when I am, do you? This is the Sixth Age. Ah, it must be centuries. Has it been so long? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, uh, you all right? I am sorry. It is so much to take in. Everyone I know. Gone. The world must have changed so much. What place have I here, so far from my time? But I must know what has become of the... In... I, the... Il, Ilujank... Ilujanka... 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 My people. Forgive my melancholy. It's just, um... Difficult to comprehend. I mean, he's handling it pretty well, all things considered. Who the heck are the Ilujanka? We were the caretakers of our world, and worked in harmony with the animals around us. We had our place, and they had theirs, and by working as one, we lived a prosperous and happy life. He's contributing to the Alun Day. Sounds like Pokemon. They're living in harmony with the animals, making animals fight each other, training them for no obvious particular purpose, send your 11-year-olds off into the world with no adult supervision, with monsters that are literally able to kill anything. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds like Pokemon. The Alun Day. It is a difficult concept to explain, so forgive me if I seem unclear. We Ilujenka believe that everything is connected, part of a singular whole. The earth, the trees, the grass, and the animals that graze upon it. The circle of life. The whole is like... An elaborate painting that's impossible to fully perceive because you're part of it. Too close to see everything. A single string in a tapestry. I'm in a singing mood, apparently. That's Prince of Egypt, by the way. But you know that the result is beautiful and worth all the effort that went into it. I mean, I like, I like his approach. It seems very harmonious. And like a painting, each individual stroke seems almost meaningless without the brush strokes that came before. Or after. I'm really tired of hearing about this. Something we struggle with most of all. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Clearly wiser than me. Okay. We had a natural affinity. Ah, uh, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Clutches for... Okay, there we go. But then our numbers began to fall. Clutches fell in number from dozens. To fewer and fewer. Until soon there were almost no births at all. We were dying, Norik Provis, and we had no idea why. That's why we agreed to go with the Empty Lord. Zaros! 
because he promised us a solution. The ancestors warned us not to go, not to defy the Olundai, but how could we not? I'm sorry, Norik Provis, I can't talk about this anymore. Okay, so what now? Now, now I need to decide my future. You could ride dragons again. To what end? Uh, you can fly dragons. What's not to like? <laughs> I cannot deny that. But there must be a purpose behind riding. It would dishonor the rider and the mount otherwise. Okay. Actually. Wait, no, wait. You could just go home. Yes, I could. There is nothing for me here. I could leave. I could... Uh, but how? With Zeros gone, there is no way back to my world, is there? Um... We could look around this library. Yes, it does seem quite impressive. Maybe there is something we can use here. I have vague memories of a powerful figure here. Someone with a strong Olun debt. It's only an impression, but what can it hurt to look? Olun debt? Uh, yes, sorry. The Olun debt is a measure of the impression we leave. Or the Alun die. So how wide was the stroke of the painting? Got it. Destiny. Not one spirit. Oh, look at this. You yourself have a particularly powerful Alun debt. So I cannot help but think our journey on the Alun die is intertwined at this time. My people are deeply spiritual. And it is ingrained in our culture and language. Forgive me if I forget... From time to time, that not everyone shares that history. Let's try some of these books. There must be something that can help me get home. So is this where we're going to search that bookcase that we were looking for earlier? And it's all like, you don't know what you're looking for, so we can't look at a book. Oh, good it. Robert is strong regarding the Dragonkin language, referencing the special powers of the dragons. Hmm. Dragons are uniquely gifted creatures. This looks like something worth investigating, Norek Provis. I'll keep track of any words that we've uncovered, and can translate for you if you need me to. Right-click on the book to set Translate Toggle, which will automatically translate any Dragonkin words you discover. Sure, there's more of use. Uh, okay, let's Translate Toggle. Automatically translated when I read it. I mean, why would I not want that? That seems silly. Alright, nothing else useful over there. Uh, derp, 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 derp. Nope, okay. Um, let's search more bookcases. Because we know how much we absolutely love doing that. Uh, I was born a family of librarians. Robert is not a native of Gielinor by birth, though he considers our world to be more his home than he was when he was born. I mean, we knew about this before. We found this all out during one of those quests a while back. Was it the Ritual of the Majorat that taught us about Robert the Strong? Maybe, I don't know. It describes a schism as a great black hole surrounded by a corona of red crackling lightning. Yikes, that's scary. Anything interesting in there? Well, he's not talking to me, so I'm going to have to assume no? Let's try this bookcase. I am convinced that the dragonkin are not native to this world. Well, we can tell you that much. Blah, blah, blah. Statues and relics around. Tazar, volcano, cool stuff down there. Haven't even done that. Robert the Strong. boop a doop a doop The dragonkin? If they could travel between worlds, that would be worth investigating. I wonder what statues he refers to. That seems to be everything of use. We should investigate those clues. Investigate the clues, huh? Okay, I'm not really sure what that means, but we're going to have to wait until next time to figure it out. Isn't that right, Doug? Yeah, I think it's probably that time to end this episode. Dang straight it is, Doug. Time to end this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Promise with RuneScape 3 and the one-of-a-kind quest. If you enjoyed this video, then I hope you will consider hitting that like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing for all future content. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.